What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan and um, I woke up extra early this morning because I wanted to catch the first teaser trailer for the Black Panther movie coming next year, February 2018. Um, and yeah, it's, it's got me it's got me really excited. Like I'm, I'm hyped up to a whole other level right now. So I wanted to make this video because this movie is not just important to the MCU or to Hollywood, but to me personally. Um, you know, for since I was young, like say four or five years old, I've been watching, I've been growing up watching these um, superhero uh, TV series and movies and things like that. And I remember as early as early back as watching George Reeves playing Superman or Adam West playing Batman. Um, but for me, back in those days, black superheroes didn't exist. I mean, they they existed in comic books, but they didn't exist on TV, they didn't exist in movies, um, and they didn't exist until very recently. Um, I mean, yeah, you had, there were maybe a couple that were made that were terrible movies, but we won't go into those ones. So, you know, I, I've, I've grown up watching, I guess, white male superheroes as role models. And I think it's important for, especially for kids these days, to have black superheroes growing up, if, you're, if you're a black child, to have not only the, the Superman and the Batmans and the Spider-Man, but also having characters like Black Panther to, to look up to. Um, and I remember when, when Luke Cage was, was announced it was coming out on Netflix, and then I remember seeing the trailer for it and watching it and just thinking, all right, they've, they've done something that exceeded my expectations. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Um, and it sort of just sort of took my expectations up to another level. Seeing the trailer for Black Panther has, has broken that, has, has gone through the ceiling of that, and it's like, my expectations are like really high for this movie now, and you know, I'm hoping it's gonna be a really good movie. To see, to see what they've done so far with, with making Wakanda and making, I mean, this is a black movie, this is a, it's, co-written by Ryan Coogler and directed by Ryan Coogler. Um, it's got predominantly black cast. It's about a king of this country who is also a superhero. I mean, the dynamics they could do do with the storytelling with that, it's, it's amazing. And like, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited for the movie. I'm excited for what it means for movies going forward because it's just su it just has such a positive message behind it. You know, this is, not just a black superhero movie, it's a black movie. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what I've seen so far. Um, I just hope that it's, it's gonna be a really good one. I have no doubt that it's gonna be a really good one. Um, and probably up there as one of the best. I mean, looking at the visuals, it's, it's bright, it's bold and colorful, it's, um, it's like Marvel have started doing this thing, I've, I've noticed recently, like with Guardians 2 and with Thor Ragnarok, the colours just seem to pop out a lot more and when I was watching the trailer for this, it sort of took me back to like seeing some of the imagery from Thor Ragnarok and um, the, the colours just really pop out at you and it's, the, the city itself though is just something, it looks futuristic but at the same time it's got that African tradition and they've mixed it, they blended it well, and it just, I, I, yeah. <laughs> you can probably tell I'm excited. I'm excited for this movie, and um, it's powerful. It's empowering. It's, you know, um, I actually don't know the actress's name. I should actually look her up. Um, but I believe Michonne from The Walking Dead, she plays like his bodyguard. And I think she was in Civil War as well. And um, yeah, I think there's also, there's like a scene where she, She's like wearing this red dress and then she like takes out a staff and then she just starts like fighting with this guy. And like it's just everything about this movie just looks, it's just so empowering. It's so good to see a positive black movie. So yeah, I mean, um, like for people who keep saying that the, the MCU is scared to take risks or um, everything seems, feels stagnant or feels the same, um, I have, to, I have to take my hat off to them because recently, you know, their movies haven't been, you know, of the same mold. I mean, you had Doctor Strange, which, yes, it was like Iron Man in a sense, but 
then it sort of flipped things around and it sort of took that sort of Inception vibe and it went with that. You know, you had Guardians, which is obviously just a cosmic movie and it's just completely different. This movie, again, it just feels, it feels fresh. It feels like something like, something like this, I, I can't think of it being done before. You know, obviously there aren't any black superhero movies. I mean, the only one I can sort of think of on top of my head is Hancock. And that movie to me just didn't really work very well. So yeah, with this, it just feels, it feels fresh. It feels new, it feels bold, it feels, it feels good to have a character like this, to have Black Panther for the kids of this generation, to have a hero for them to sort of look up to and be like, that's a hero that I want to be like. You know, for me, it was, it was watching Superman and looking up to him. For kids, you know, it's to have that sort of hero, for, for black kids as well, to have that sort of hero to look up to and to sort of aspire to be like. Um, and he's a king. I mean, you know, you don't get you don't get more better than that. You know, you have you have Tony Stark, who's obviously a billionaire, but this guy's a king. You know, he's a king of his own country, and he's a superhero. You know, like for the past, um, I think that like couple of weeks since Wonder Woman's been released, anyway, um, there's just been positive articles and positive tweets about um, just what the character, just what Wonder Woman means to a lot of people out there. And Black Panther, I think, is going to be that next movie of what his character means to so many people, and, I, and especially to black people, because we've never, we haven't had this before. You know, this is this isn't me just sort of making a big deal out of nothing. This is a movie that hasn't existed before on this scale, on this level, for for a company such as Marvel and Disney to be shoving millions of, of dollars into making this movie a reality. You know, this hasn't been done and that means something. And like I said before, you know, it's, yes, it means a lot to me, but it, it means a lot to the MCU. They're taking a big risk and it means a lot to Hollywood because this hasn't been done. And if it's successful, just like Wonder Woman was successful, you're gonna get more movies like this. and. That's what we need. We need more positive black movies or or diverse movies, should I say. Um, movies where females are the lead or people of color are the lead. And yeah, for me, I just, I just needed to make this video because waking up this morning and seeing that trailer, which I've now probably watched, I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've watched that trailer. It's, um, it just felt really special to me and it's, and I can't wait to see the movie. It's out February the 16th, so make sure you put that on your calendars. 2018, February 16th. Um, hopefully I'll get to go to the premiere. Marvel UK, if you're watching this, send me some tickets, because I'd love to go. So yeah, Black Panther, looks great. Hopefully it's gonna be a great movie. I'm sure it's gonna be a great movie. And yeah, see you next time.